All right, hello, and uh, welcome to video two, module one, module one, video two. Don't forget to write the notes. We will do a packet tracer. I want you to upload that as well. The two things, the notes that you see on the screen and the packet tracer that we will do later on. All right, uh, we'll continue with some of the commands, the show version command, which I'll show you in the packet tracer. This is where you can actually see the iOS file name, the RAM, the NVRAM, how much you have. RAM available, the configuration register value, the 2102, 2102, or 2142. Show history is going to display the history commands. If you type show IP interface, one. Show the MAC address table. I'm going to show you all the MAC, the, I, the MAC addresses and which ports they are located in. Uh, to enable SSH on the switch, the iOS must be running the K9, so you'll be able to see that when you're typing the show version. If it allows you to do that or not. Uh, basic router configuration. If you go to the router and you type the loopback address, the loopback address is a logical interface that's always up. You can use it's used for testing and the Cisco device. I will again I will show you how to do that when we do our packet tracer. And when you are doing the show command, you can do, you know, the pipe with, you know, you type show running, pipe, for example, um, here. I'll show you. So you could type uh, show uh, run running dash config space, for example, pipe uh, line VTY. Oh, I'm sorry, include or, uh, or begin, I should say. So it begins with line VTY zero. It doesn't have to list everything. So it's going to... If you, for example, that's the pipe that I'm talking about. All right, so write all of these down, submit that, and then open up your packet tracer. We're going to do an exercise together. And here's what we're going to do. All right, after you finish uploading. So what I want you to do is I want you to bring in, an, um, let's say, a 1941 router and change the name to R1. All right. I want you to bring in a 2960 switch, okay? And maybe you should bring in two PCs, PC0, PC1. And let's go to uh, get a straight connection, get a straight through cable, connect PC fast Ethernet 01 to the switch 01. Remember, I know I'm going up maybe a little bit faster, but you can always pause, right, and go back. Another straight through cable, click. Oops, not that, this one. That's the crossover. Uh, remember, with packet tracer, you have to use the crossover, even though MDIX may not be running by default. All right, and here we are using straight through cables because we can do that. And I go to the gigabit zero, zero. All right, so connected to PCs. Now let's go to the switch. Click on the switch. All right, and just going to expand this a little bit so you can see better. There's your switch. There's your 24 ports. They are all located in VLAN 1. And here's your 2 gigabit Ethernet. Okay. Click on the CLI and hit enter. All right. Uh, you type EN. And you are going to do config T. I always do this. And now... IP domain lookup, just like we did. Always do that and change the host name. Host name SW1, let's say. All right, I want you to type exit. And now hit enter again. Type show version. Okay, when you type show version, you'll see the name of the operating system. 2960 switch, right? And... Um, let me see. There's your operating system name right here. It doesn't have the K9 in there. So you're not going to be able to do, and it has version 12.2. So we're not going to be able to do the, um, the MDIX thing. That's why we always got to use the, the switch. I'm sorry, the, um, the crossover cable. All right. Um, if you go to down to the bottom, 
here um, you'll be able to see the motherboard version hit space for more okay here's the configuration register it has this value in it uh, it doesn't mean anything for us right now but on the real switch you'll you'll maybe you'll see the 0x2102 or on the router all right type show vlan show vlan all right all the ports on the switch are connected to vlan one right and the name is default the vlan one name default cannot be changed or deleted and all the ports in, in case the two get including the two gigabit as part of vlan one there are four other vlans that we're not going to use so if you ever asked how many vlans does the switch have and the answer is five the default and um okay let's continue uh now we are going to configure vlan 99 so you type in vlan 99 so let's type in i'm sorry hit the space bar type config t and type t and i'm sorry config and the letter t and then you type vlan 99 okay and then i'm going to type exit and i'm going to say uh, interface fast ethernet 0 slash 18 and i'm going to give it the ip address i'm doing this address right here right number five i'm gonna say i'm sorry no v oh, no 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 exit what the hell am i doing sorry now that I created VLAN 99, I, in, I type interface VLAN 99. This is the SVI. See, it went up automatically because it's a virtual interface. So that's going to be our management VLAN. I'm going to give it the IP address 192.168.10.1 with slash 24 mask. So uh so that's that you can say no shut it's not gonna hurt okay let me exit you're done with creating the vlan type exit again and then you're going to type show vlan and you'll see if you go up a little bit you'll see that you created a vlan 99 named vlan 99 and you didn't give you have to now we have to move port 18 into this vlan so here's what you do go in here hit enter hit the space bar go to config t and type interface fa 0 slash 18 and you're going to do a switch port mode access that means the mode is changed from dynamic to access and we're going to do switch port access to vlan 99 so now now if you do control z and you type show vlan again you'll see that port 18 is part of vlan 99 and it's no longer part of vlan 1. so now all we have to do is um all we have to do is Give the PC, let's minimize this. Now I have to move PC1. I'm going to click right here, move it to port 18. Now only this guy will be able to tell that into the switch. So I'm going to give PC1 because now it's part of VLAN 99 and he's the only one that's going to be able to tell that. So I'm going to go to the desktop and give it the IP address 192.168.0. 10.3 with a mask of 3255 and a zero, right? I'm going to give this an IP address 192.168.10.1. So might as well do that since we are here. So it will be 192.168.10.1. That's the default gateway for PC1 and, and uh, PC0. Okay, so let's configure PC0 since we're here. Remember, PC0 is in VLAN 1. Right, we'll give it the IP address 
192.168.10.4, let's say. All right. And the default gateway, 192.168.10.1. All right, go back to the switch. Okay, I want you to type show run. Show me the running configuration. You hit the tap key, hit the tap key. You see the port 18 is switched to VLAN 99. Okay, and it's switch mode access. Hit the space bar. You see that VLAN 99 has the IP address dot one. Excellent. All right, good. So we're all done. Now we are going to configure it for Telnet. To configure the switch for Telnet, you're going to go to config T, and you're going to say line VTY 0 to 15, because it's a switch, and you're going to say the password is Cisco, and you're going to type login so that the switch will prompt the user for a password. All right, we're going to do an enable secret password, and let's call it Cisco 1. All right, so that's how you set up the management VLAN. Now the management VLAN is 99. And the only person that's going to be able to tell that is PC1 because he is in VLAN 19. Even though he's in the same subnet because he's in a different switch, he's in VLAN 1, he should not be able to tell that. So let's test that out. Let's go to PC1, and he should be able to tell net into the SVI which is 192.168.10.1. That's the SVI IP address. All right, remember the Telnet password is Cisco. Just type Cisco. And if you type enable, you could type Cisco2 and you're in the, pro oops, Cisco2. Or is it Cisco1? There you go, I'm in. If you type exit, then you are out. If you go to PC0, and if you type tell net 192.168.10.1, you're not going to be able to connect because he's in a different VLAN. He's still in VLAN 1. All right, now let's configure the switch, uh, the router. The router is pretty much the same thing. Okay, see this, the dialog 01? That's because it did not find a configuration file in the NVRAM. That's why you are prompted with this. Okay, we're going to say no because we're going to configure our own uh, configuration. We're going to type EN, config T. Remember, you're doing all of this. You're going to submit the whole packet tracer, including the notes. Uh, no, oops, no IP domain. Look up. And we're going to do a host name of capital R1. And now we're going to go to the gigabit Ethernet interface right here. And we're going to say G0 slash 0. Okay. And we're going to give it the IP address. IP add 192.168.10.1 with a mask of 255.255.255.0. And we're going to enable it by typing no shut. You can describe the interface since you are already in the IF, in the interface. You can type DES, hit the tab key, and say, this is the management VLAN default gateway. Right? And you can do control Z to exit. Uh, show run. Let's show version by the way. You show version and hit enter on the switch, and there is your switch show version. I mean, uh, this is the router, not the switch, right? And there is the operating system name up here with K9. That means we could do security on it. And if you hit the tap key, uh, hit more at the end. There's your configuration register, 0, 2, which means he's going to load the operating system from the flash, right? Now, if anybody needs to go from outside to log into the router, you have to type in the command in here, IP default gateway 192.168.10.1. So please do that at the config mode of the router, all right? And submit that as homework.